So I think we need a real towing test. And to me, a real towing test isn't towing for just 30, 40, 50, maybe even 100 miles. It's towing halfway across the country or more. And I'm going to do that for you today and show you my Lance 2375 with a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,000 pounds and a full fresh water tank in it. And my 2018 Toyota Tundra, which I think is the best towing half ton ever made with the 5.7 liter and the 4.30 rear axle and show you how that does towing across the country. Not only am I going to tow across the country, I'm going to leave eastern Georgia at 2.30 on a Friday and arrive at about 4.30 p.m. on a Sunday into Lancaster, California, just north of Los Angeles. Now, as I left my house uh, between 2.30 and 3 p.m., I was at, on a Friday, I was at 91,982 miles. We're going to take it on this first leg the first day because we're leaving in the afternoon. We're not going to travel quite as far as we usually do, but we are going to go 540 miles in a day. We're going to make two stops. The first one's here at Bucky's that you see right here in Leeds, Alabama. It's a great first stop for us. I went a little further than I usually do because I had an extra stop. So I ended up putting a little bit more fuel. I ended up going almost about 295 miles. And this is always the toughest leg is these first parts between uh, what between my house and the Mississippi, it's where I seem to get the least fuel mileage. As you can see, I put in 36.4 gallons. That's quite a bit. Made me a little bit nervous that we were going to run out of fuel. Fortunately, we didn't. I don't like to run it that low. Second stop we made, you can see here is 92.522. So we've gone 540 miles. So and for this 540 miles up. that I traveled on this first day, I went 68.823, or I used 68.823 gallons for a total of about 7.85 miles per gallon. And like I say, this is always the toughest leg and I was going pretty quick, hauling at about 70 to 75, stop and go in Atlanta. And nah, that's not too bad. Usually I'm at about eight and a half, but I was really trying to make time to get all the way out to California. You can see it there, 235.5 on this leg. Trip time was 338. We were really hauling butt actually. We had a couple slowdowns for some construction, but mostly doing 75 with the uh, travel trailer this trip. So that was the first portion of the second leg of this trip. We ended up using 24.674 gallons on that leg, which would give us a total of about 9.5 miles per gallon on that leg, traveling close to 75 miles per hour with my 2375 in tow. Total on this day, we did come pretty close to right around a thousand miles. So we're getting ready to fill up again. We did a little bit of driving around, but our next fill up here is at 92,983 miles. We're just about a thousand miles into our trip. Fourth leg, we're filling. Here we are on this fill up. Maybe a little bit better on the MPGs, but it been about the same. We'll see how we do on this next leg. So the last fill up was at 92,983. This one's at 93,219. Um, we made a little stop over at Four Sixes Ranch on our way here. We're going to go ahead and get this one filled up and see what we got. Beautiful sunset as we're driving towards the Texas New Mexico border. And as you can see, the view is amazing and the MPGs get Nine, better. Three, four, five, six on this leg. And it uh, looks like we did a little bit better on the fuel on this leg. I usually do out west. Let's go ahead and fill up, see what we got. This leg, we went from uh, just outside of Guthrie, Texas, all the way to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. And then now we're going to start heading down I-40 toward California. So 106.44 for 29.16 gallons this time. Let's go ahead and do our math and see what that comes out to be. So that works out to about 8.1 on this leg. For the day leg, we average about 8.61 going 934 miles. Not too bad considering we were doing 70 to 75 the whole time. We stopped for the evening at one of our favorite Old Route 66 boondocking locations, the Silver Moon Cafe. We had a great meal there. They do fantastic Mexican food. And if you're interested in traveling and boondocking, I highly recommend it. Okay, so new leg, we can see 93,712. I believe this completes our sixth leg of the trip. It's our first leg on the third day. We left uh, less than 24 hours ago. We're going to go ahead and fill up and get this one calculated. This is one of those pumps that cut us off at $100 and 28.744 gallons. So we're going to have to go ahead and restart it. So 2.744 gallons that we have to add to our other number. And fuel was 347.9. We'll go ahead and put that into our calculations. I just thought I'd show you this here. This is the leg of this trip. Um, I'm headed from Gallup, New Mexico towards uh, Lancaster, California. We last filled up in Gallup 93.3 miles ago. Um, just to give you an idea of the speed we're going, that was an hour and 23 minutes ago, so probably averaging uh, right around 
around 70 ish miles per hour. And I want you to take a look here if I can stop bouncing on the road. But if you look at my tank, I've still got almost three quarters of a tank of gas and, or left, and I've gone 93.7 miles. So if you look here, there's my camera. My travel trailer is in tow. I've left Gallup, New Mexico, uh, what is now 94 miles ago, and I've got uh, hour and 24 in. Gives you an idea. I'm averaging right around 70 miles an hour. And if you look there, I've got almost three quarters of a tank of gas. Shockingly well on this leg with my Lance 2375. For some strange reason, I always seem to get better MPGs out west. I have been averaging about 8.1 for the trip. <coughs> but all of a sudden, uh, I noticed in the, it was in the last leg uh, from between uh, Santa Rosa, New Mexico and Gallup, New Mexico, that it started off very poor and on a strong headwind. And as the headwind died down, the back half of that trip picked up really well. And now, as you can see here, why I'm kicking butt, we'll see how it does in our next fill up. With the Eagles being one of my all time favorite bands, it was time for a stop at the corner in Winslow, Arizona to take a picture by the flatbed Ford. And we actually took a picture by a couple of them and in front of the painted cafe right outside the flatbed Ford. My wife and I really enjoyed that quick little stop, and it was very easy to park our travel trailer on the side street right next to the truck. All right, here we are in Seligman, Arizona. Not sure if I said that right. As you can see, we're about, I think, 260 miles since our last stop. We're going to go ahead and fill up here. Fuel in Arizona is outrageous at 450 a gallon, but what can you do? So 27.662. Probably going to work out to about 9.5 gallons. Um, I'll go ahead and put that in. Always seem to do better out west uh, with towing. Of course, I'm towing my Lance 2375 with my Toyota Tundra. No small feat here today. Leg number nine, we're at 94,231 miles. We're in California, we're filling up at 4.79 a gallon for 87 octane, which is crazy. Um, but that's what it is, let's see what we get. California stopped me at 100 bucks, so I gotta do it again. Okay, 93,971 was my last fill up. So we've uh, just about, uh, uh, what's that, 3.78 roughly on our miles. Uh, we did put in 20 plus gallons on the last one. We're going to fill up here, see what the total is. We didn't fill up all the way at the last station because the pump cut us off there. Okay, so when we look at this right, we look at this right here, what we see is we've got 23.2. We add that to our previous 28.838. And what it means is that uh, uh, we've done uh, just not about, what, what did I say, just under 400 and, or 380 roughly miles. So about 8.6 on this leg. Pretty consistent with where we've been at for the entire trip out to California. All right, it's windy out here, so I'm gonna try to do this quickly and I may have to just do it with a voiceover, but here we are with our Tundra, our Lance travel trailer. As you can see, the window up there is finally fixed. And being that that window right here, this one is finally fixed. Um, we are ready to move on. We've made a long trip down here to the Lance Service Center, stayed here overnight in the parking lot, went ahead and did the uh, windows this morning, and now we're getting ready to go. Maybe we'll head toward Joshua Tree from here. All right, so first fill up, 94,660 since leaving Lancaster, California. We're in Blythe, uh, California right now. We're gonna go ahead and fill up and see how we did. Of course, we're not gonna do too great because uh, Gasoline is about 5.10 a gallon. Here. I said 5.10, it's actually 5.20 at the Chevron here in Blythe, California. I'm about to set 150, which is a new record for me, in 28.852. Let's go ahead and refill it and see where we okay. get. 28.852 plus uh, 1.351, I think gives us roughly uh, 30.5 gallons. Um, and we traveled Am I doing that right? I think so, 28.852. No, it gives us just over 30 gallons. Um, we'll go ahead and do the math on that. But here's the thing, it's not gonna quite be 31 gallons, which means we average better than 10 miles per gallon. Taking my truck and my Lance travel trailer, that includes driving through town a good portion of the time, a lot of stop and grow traffic, stop over in uh, uh, Palm Springs, California, drove through Palm Springs. 
So one of the things I never hear other reviewers talk about is that there is a big difference between heading west and heading east. Heading east, you're frequently heading into headwinds. Heading west, the winds are going with you when you're towing a big travel trailer that has a lot of resistance. You get less miles per gallon heading into the wind. Here, heading with the wind, heading westward, always seem to be a doing a little bit better. So even with this 7,000 pound gross vehicle weight, Lance travel trailer. I'm not surprised that we got 10.3 miles per gallon on this first leg back east. All right, last fill up here, 94, 934. Um, we're in Tucson, Arizona, on the southern side of Tucson. We've come all the way from uh, just outside, I'm all the way uh, from just outside Joshua Tree National Park to get here, and that's where we're at, 94, 934. We're filling up right now. We're gonna see what this last fill up. Okay, once again, it stopped us at 100 bucks. So we'll go ahead and store this 28.098 and we'll actually finish our full trip and get the number after that. We stopped and stayed another impromptu night in Tombstone, Arizona. We'd never been there before. Saw this beautiful sunset, went to Big Nose Kate's place, had a big ass glass of beer and some real Tombstone pizza. That was excellent pizza and I would highly recommend that stop if you ever get the chance. This is going to be a combined fill up here. We're in uh, New Mexico, getting relatively close to the Texas border. Um, I have to track exactly. Actually, we are in Columbus, New Mexico. And uh, well, since we're in Columbus, New Mexico, we're going to go ahead and fill up. We'll do the calculation of how much of this was uh, idling, which was about three hours of idling while I showed my travel trailer and got rid of it. How much was travel trailer drive? and the rest of this 95,221 number that uh, leaves us with how much we drove without the travel trip. Once again, stopped at 75. We're gonna have to fill up to get a total number on this. So adding the 1.82 to our other numbers, we went a total of 561 miles, used 51.314 gallons for 10.9 miles per gallon. So let's summarize our westward. findings here. On the way from east to west, I went 2,367 miles. I used 279.5 gallons of gasoline for an average fuel economy of 8.45 miles per gallon. I would challenge any other half ton gasser, including any of the latest models, especially any V6s, to try to do that in that time frame, just over 48 hours, and get that kind of fuel economy traveling 70 to 75 miles per hour. My entire trip with my travel trailer to get it repaired in Lancaster and then to bring it back to Columbus, New Mexico and sell it was a total of 3,231, or I'm sorry, 3,239 miles and I used 361 total gallons of gasoline for an average of exactly 9 miles per gallon for that trip. With stops at Joshua Tree and Saguaro National Park and Palm Springs, I ended up going about 872 miles from Lancaster to Columbus where I sold my travel trailer and we used 81.5 uh, total gallons. That works out to 10.7 miles per gallon. Again, towing mostly 70 to 75, but to be fair, in California, a lot of the time I was doing between 60 and 65. So this is what I consider a real towing test. Taking my 2018 Toyota Tundra with approaching 100,000 miles out east to west and then halfway back again, with my Lance 2375 travel trailer in tow, weighing in at a 7,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Tell me, what other kind of test would you rather see? This is one that tells you the true capability of that truck, that half ton, and what it can do. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to hit like and subscribe, and feel free to comment below. I love hearing what people have to say. I think that's how we all learn a little bit more.